what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so time to check out my preview and predictions on wrestlemania backlash for this year man um we're definitely gonna do a live stream on the main channel so be on the lookout for that uh, i'm gonna probably set it up sometime this weekend before the match uh before the pay-per-view so be on the lookout for that you know we always have a good time on our live stream reactions so this should be a good one but I want to give my preview and predictions who's gonna win who's gonna lose and we're gonna kind of go you know go through the list and i'm gonna give my reasons why or why not uh certain people will win so let's get right into it i'm gonna start with cody rose versus seth rollins man i am looking forward to this match I'm not gonna lie to you this match i am highly interested in the match they had at wrestlemania was quite enjoyable so hopefully they can expound on that in their rematch and i'm still i gotta pick cody to win you have i i don't want it shouldn't be no 50 50 booking especially not with cody cody needs to win this match and i, I pick cody to win i don't want him to lose in the situation where seth rollins will cheat and then he gets to win nah I, I i think you need to have cody keep this momentum and they can just have a two and done situation and we go on to something else. But I definitely think Cody will retain. It'll be a a nice, nice wrestling uh type technical wrestling match. And I think maybe Seth Rollins will get frustrated because he can't put him away. He'll try to cheat. Ultimately, Cody will get the win there. So I think Cody will take the dub, in my opinion, on that one. Edge versus AJ Styles. Damian Priest is banned from ringside. I am very interested in this one, this match as well. This is another match that I, I want to see how they, they, they play it out. Um, I think this is a tough one because I know this is Edge's new gimmick, his new heel persona. He needs to win here. Um, I don't know. This is a tough one. I can see Edge getting the win here. I could possibly see Edge getting another win here in the situation because they need to make him strong. He needs to be a credible threat um, on Monday Night Raw. And if he loses clean here, how would anyone want to follow him? Like, like how would any, like, how would he want to recruit extra people? Why would Damian Priest want to still follow him? So, I do think even though Damian Priest is banned. I think Edge will probably use some cheating tactics to potentially win here. So uh, I do see Edge being the victor in this situation. And maybe they continue it on because AJ needs at least to try to get some type of win. So maybe they'll add a stipulation in their third match. Granted, you could be like, well, he lost twice. But the first one he lost on, on a distraction and it really wasn't cheating. It was really his fault. And then this one, I think there may be some cheating involved for Edge to win here. And they may do a third match where there's a stipulation involved. And maybe AJ will get the dub there. But I do have Edge winning this match. Happy Corbin versus Mad Cat Moss. Hadn't really been watching anything related to their buildup. Um, I don't even know who to pick here. I hadn't really been watching it. So I, I want to say... I could see maybe Madcap Moss getting the win here. The surprise victory. I think it'll be and maybe one of those type of situations. I could see him getting a surprise victory. Maybe a, a roll up or something like that. Um Corbin could take a loss here in this situation. If they're gonna build up Madcap Moss, Corbin should probably take the loss here. So I, I have Mad Cat Moss winning that one. Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Uh, almost however you want to pronounce it. Haven't really been watching this either. Like the build up. So um, I know they're trying to build Omos as a uh, credible threat here. And, you know, he's aligned himself. Last time I remembered uh, with uh, MVP. Um, I would get the win of Bobby Lashley. I can see Bobby Lashley getting that much needed win as a face. I think that works to kind of get his momentum going as well. Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's Championship and I quit match. Um once again, I've not been watching this build up because I kind of lost interest at WrestleMania. 
I think Ronda's going to win this. I don't see Ronda saying, I quit. <laughs> I just, I don't see Ronda saying, I quit. I just cannot fathom in my mind she's saying, I quit. Charlotte will lose. She will finally lose. And I, hopefully, hopefully this match is much better than their WrestleMania match. I'm willing to give it a chance. I just hadn't cared for it. But I do think Ronda will win finally and she will be the SmackDown's women champion. And uh, the final one is Roman Reigns and the Usos versus Randy Orton, Riddle, and Drew McIntyre. Uh, now, I did read an article saying that initially they were they were going to go with this six-man tag. They just blatantly said they were going to do the uh, tag team unification match, but they planned on doing this six-man tag from the jump, which makes absolutely no sense to sit up there and promote it and say this match was going to happen for weeks if you knew you was going to do the six-man tag. It That just... It's, it's not lazy booking anymore in my eyes now. It's straight, just convoluted booking. You literally went a route, all these extra turns and twists to ultimately get to the situation that you wanted to in a jump when you could have just built towards that after WrestleMania. But that's neither here nor there. I'm going to go with Randy Orton, Riddle, and uh, Drew McIntyre winning this. I am. And here's why I say they're going to win this. Because it's a six-man tag. Roman won't eat the pin. One of the Usos will eat the pin here. And this will, I guess you could say, prompt Drew to have be able to have a, a you know, some type of, a, uh, I guess, first, first contenders opportunity since he beat someone in the bloodline. He beat them in a match. It's just Roman didn't get pinned. So Drew can be like, hey, we beat you at Backlash. So I want a championship opportunity at the next pay-per-view. So I can see that happening. Roman will not eat the pin here. One of the Usos will. And that's how they're going to build up for their actual feud, Roman versus Drew McIntyre, which I think will be interesting, will be good. I still don't say see Drew winning. But I do think their future matches will be quite entertaining. And that's my pick. It seems like a this is one of them pay-per-view quick and straight to the point. It doesn't seem too much filler. I think the only thing I would consider filler is the Corbin, Madcap Moss, and Bobby Lashley and Omos match. Even though I, they're not truly fillers, they have some storyline to it. Those are the matches I'm least really interested in. Everything else has some type of interest in. Even Charlotte and Ronda, just to see how far they're going to go. Are they going to really just, you know, bring out the stops and just have all type of carnage? Or is it going to be some BS? A whole bunch of kendo sticks and that's about it. I don't know. Granted, kendo sticks are cool. It's just when you think of I quit matches, I think of all types of weapons being used to make someone say I quit. So we will see. But comment down below. Let me know what's the match you're most interested in seeing. And also, who do you have winning and losing at WWE Backlash this year, man? But I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Road to 80K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.